Hey, Keller Williams, Hudson Valley. I am so excited to be here with you and Colin Seitz, our new team leader. I wanted to take a few minutes and give you an opportunity to get to know Colin. And uh, Colin is here in the New City Market Center. You've started on Monday and it's been a wild week, hasn't it, Colin? <laughs> it definitely has been a busy week so far. Excited to be here? I'm very excited to be here. Yeah, the first two days you got to spend time in our ALC clinic or retreat really with our ALC. And um, I know that uh, we were able to talk to them a lot about not only their business, but goals for the market center. And um, I think it's giving you uh, an opportunity early on in your time with us about what we're about and, and how excited we are to continue to grow. Um, so I think the first thing everyone probably would like to know is just a little about you. So Colin, um, tell us a little bit about your background, your family, what would you like to share with everybody? Um, all right, uh, quick background about myself. I'm married for 25 years. I've got three grown children who are either, met, one's married, one college and one graduating from high school this year. Um, so I live uh, in Orange County. I've been a New York resident for the last 25 years. Um, so that's kind of me on a personal level. Um, do you want to hear a little description on my brief business background? Yeah, absolutely. All right. So I've got, I started originally, let's see, I go all the way back. I started in the residential mortgage business in 1992 um, for a subprime mortgage company in New Jersey. I became a mortgage originator and then a mortgage broker. I owned my own shop. I managed uh, retail and wholesale, wholesale presence for a national lender for a while. And then I have spent, since the market crashed in 07 and 08, I've spent the last 12 years um, in the real estate industry, the last 10 years with Remax. Right. And you've had a lot of success in your real estate career. You've built teams, you've recruited people to the business, you've coached, mentored, um, sold you know, uh, real estate personally, and, and was always a top producer. Why make the change now into leadership? What excites you about this? Well, I, we all know that the market's you know changing right now. Um, so as I was doing my business planning for 2023, as, as we all have, have just been doing, you know, the opportunity at Keller, the it really I, what really happened is I started to look back at the last 10 years of my business at Remax and what I had done there. And there was frustration on my part that I wasn't in the right organization. Mm. Um, you know, didn't have the right systems in place, didn't have the right leverage and support in place in my business. And so when I went back, <laughs> I actually started to reread the MREA book. And when I did, I really realized that the system here at Keller is better than it is everywhere else. And yeah. so this was really just, this was a great opportunity to be at a great company. So here's the question, right? You could have come over as an agent, built your agent business and these systems and models, rebuilt your team, but you were really passionate about coming in on the leadership side and being the team leader here. Why? What is it that you're most excited about when you think about what you're going to do here in the market center with our agents and why the team leader role? Well, the leadership that's in place in both the company and the market center is exceptional. You have an exceptional, an exceptional group of people put together and the opportunity at Keller, you know, after having been an agent for 10 years, I was ready to do something, you know, ready to do something different. The business consulting end of this position is something that I was really attracted to. Um, so the ability to work with other agents, to coach other agents, to talk to them about their, their business, as opposed to being a transactional agent on the outside dealing with the public, that's really what appealed to me. The ability yeah. to consult with other, other you know, growth-minded individuals who want to drive their business. Yeah, I mean, that came through a lot and clear in all the meetings we had, you know, to, I guess, interviews, right, to, to make sure that this was the right fit for all of us. Um, it sounds like you are very passionate about helping people and you find success through other people's success. Um, and what, what do you think, you know, the next few weeks are going to look like as you get to know everyone, what are, what are some of the top priorities for you as the new team leader here? Um, and, you know, getting to know people here in the market. Um, top priority is, is really in the immediate future is to get introduced to everybody, <laughs> you know, get it, get an opportunity to meet everybody. I'd love to get a chance to get everybody back into the market center, um, to meet with me and the rest of the leader and the rest of the leadership team. 
you know, as we get into January, I'm really excited to meet with the agents and talk to them and dive into their personal business and how I can help them and help support them in their business and grow it in 2023. It's going to be a challenging year. And I think everybody can use an extra support system this year to kind of drive and help them grow their business. For sure. So I know you don't have a crystal ball, but what are your thoughts, you know, about the the market and the new year? What do you think the biggest challenge will be for agents and how can you help them? Biggest challenge for agents right now is probably inventory in Mm -hmm. terms of, you know, there just aren't enough houses to sell out there in terms of keeping everybody super busy. So in my world, the best way that I can help agents is really drive listing business you know, help them find listings, help help them find ways to lead generate. I mean, 2023, that's really the key word for lead generation is yes. really where we've got to be in 2023. Um, yeah, there's not sure. enough business out there. So you need to go and get a bigger piece than you had last year just to stay whole, let alone to grow. So yeah. it's going to be really a key to help agents recognize the, the tools that are available to them to help them with the lead generation. Yeah, and I know that also showed up a lot in the strategic planning that we did the other day. Um, You and your ALC were really excited about creating uh, space here in the market center where uh, agents can come in and and practice those conversations, practice objection handling, and then get on the phone and make some calls and and start getting into lead generation. And and you said you would be a part of that too, right? So that's Uh, exciting. Absolutely. In, in, in past positions, I've led call nights, um, script and, and role playing uh, sessions and things like that. So I'm really hoping that we can get agents back into the office to interact with each other, get comfortable getting on the phone, making phone calls, reaching out and, and doing the lead gen. That's where we've got to be this year. That's great. Well, I know um, we wanted to just come on and have a quick intro and and give you an opportunity, put a face to a name. And um, so everyone, uh, again, this is Colin, your new team leader. We're very happy to have him as a part of our KW family. Um, Colin, you you plan to be making some calls and reaching out to the agents, but if they wanted to get in touch with you and just say hello, uh, what is your email address? Colin Seitz, and it's spelled C-O-L-I-N-S-E-I-T-Z at kw.com. Perfect. And if you'd like to meet Colin, I would encourage you to come to our holiday party on Tuesday. Uh, That's going to be a lot of fun at Patriot Hills. I think it's starting at six. So we hope to see you there. It's going to be casual and um, an opportunity for everyone to connect and, you know, just uh, spread some holiday joy and, of course, meet Colin, our new team leader. So uh, there'll be more great things coming from him. Don't worry. So, Colin, thanks again. I appreciate you taking some time out today. And uh, best of luck. This is going to be a great year. Awesome. Thanks, Anna. I appreciate your time today also. All right. Take care. Look forward to meeting everybody. See you soon.